now with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. All right, another breezy day here in the tri-state. As you can see, the buildings downtown there, the flags all stretched out in the wind. This today has gone pretty much as expected. We started the afternoon with some morning showers across the area, got the sun out pretty quickly, and the winds picked up as expected. It's 54 degrees right now at the airport. We've got ourselves a west wind of 18. Currently at this hour, our winds are still gusting close to 30, but surely, as you have felt, we have had some higher gusts moving across the area this afternoon. But changes are coming. The winds are going to start start to relax tonight and how do we know that? I want you to pay attention to the pressure here. It's rising. That means high pressure is about to slide in and provide us with clear skies and some nice weather for at least a day or two out there. But again, the winds this afternoon have been the big story. They've been quite blustery out of the north and west. Sustained winds up there right now between about 20 and 30 miles an hour and we've had gusts again this afternoon in excess of 30 close to 40 miles an hour once again. However, as the center of high pressure begins to move overhead tonight, those winds are going to relax considerably, and we are going to shift threats here, if you will. We are going to go from windy conditions to the potential for frost across the area tonight. Now, the saving grace for, I think, at least part of the area, particularly south of the river tonight, will be the fact that winds will stay up some. Even across a good part of southwest Ohio, I think there may be enough wind, unless you're in a sheltered area or in a low-lying area that's kind of protected from the wind, that you may be able to prevent a good bit of frost overnight. Either way, the threat is prevalent, so a frost advisory is in effect. The exception here, Franklin County, more rural areas where temperatures will likely drop even lower tonight, could drop into the upper 20s. We are likely to see some potential for freeze conditions. Look how unseasonably cool it is today across the area. Keep in mind, our average high here in Cincinnati this time of the year is in the mid 60s, about 66 degrees. Right now, we're only 54, and it's in the 40s. Look at that. Indianapolis, Dayton, Columbus. This is more like, again, maybe a late February or March day there with temperatures only in the 40s. So, this evening, if you have plans on going out, dress warm. I'd expect mostly clear skies. The winds will stay up this evening for a while as it turns chilly, but we'll have no problem slipping our way into the 40s. This storm center finally going to pull away, and as I mentioned, high pressure going to slide in here, provide us with a nice Thursday and a nice Friday. Here's a look at future cast. Skies clearing overnight tonight. Tomorrow morning when you wake up, expect mostly sunny skies. A beautiful day tomorrow, but cool by mid to late April standards. And then as we slide into your Thursday night, Friday morning, more patchy frost is possible as clear skies are expected again tomorrow night into early Friday morning. And then on Friday, expect mostly sunny skies, but clouds will begin to increase from the west during the afternoon. And by Saturday, rains in the forecast. 33 for a low tonight. That's here in the city, clear and cold with again patchy frost possible. And then tomorrow, cool sunshine. Expect another breezy day. Look for an afternoon high in the upper 50s. Here's your day planner 36 at 8 a.m. Lunchtime about 54 and into the mid 50s for the afternoon. There's that seven day forecast. Down to 32 tomorrow night, closer to freezing. 60 on Friday. And then Saturday looks wet. Sunday, sunshine returns to the area. All right, Kevin.